Hi there, welcome to another episode of ABC Useful Tip. In this short video, we're going to show you how do you use SLS to edit your assignment even after you have assigned to your student or even after your student have already started some of the questions or uh, activities. Let's dive right in. To be first to be notified of future useful ad tech video, please remember to click subscribe at the bottom and also click the notification bell and give us a like and uh, maybe some comments of how you can use it. Right? Then we'll dive right in. In the SLS homepage, just go straight into your class groups or go straight to into the assignment that you would like to make the change to the assignment. Right? So let's say if I'm about to look for my my class okay this particular class and there's this new assignment that i have assigned already and i would like to make the changes first i will click into the assignment okay, now i will show you another way to get into this assignment since it's a new assignment alternatively you can just click on the four button and show you again this four boxes here on the top left hand corner We'll show you the different tabs okay go to the assignment list the latest assignment you have assigned will appear there and you can click into the assignment that's a faster way you don't need to go into your class in the assignment page in order to edit the assignment that you have already assigned you need to click to pause this assignment right and the button is over here at the top right hand corner if you see a pause sign it means that it is playing Alright, that means it's currently assigned to the student and students can assess your lesson all right, and do all the activities that you have assigned to them. Okay, so in order to edit, you need to post it by clicking on this post sign. Click. So you will see that it has been paused. Okay, and indicated here the assignment has been paused. The student is no longer able to assess this lesson. Alright, but you, don't worry, you can actually click to play it again to let the assess be uh, given to the students again anytime all right like for example now i can just click and then resume assignment again all right so you can actually choose to um, notify the students that you have edited or you can just let it be because sometimes you might just make some editing but you don't you don't need a student to know all right so in this case you can just click without clicking that okay so the lesson just goes on all right so in this case, I'll show you again how we can do the editing okay, of the assignment. So first, click pause. And then next, click the three dots at the top right hand corner. Okay, Click on that and you will scroll down and see this item. It's a new item for the new uh, platform Okay, called the Edit Assignment tab. Click on that and then you will be informed of the various consequences. Okay, uh, don't worry. Right, it's just to in, uh, just to inform you that uh, if you were to change or delete some components that students have already done, it will also be deleted in the students page, uh, which is sometimes is what you want, All right? And uh, but the uh, once it's um, uh, replayed, okay, the the rest of the things will carry on, okay. The marks or the completion will not change. Whatever they have done, it will still be there if you have never deleted it. Okay, so let's just carry on with it, All right? So after you have clicked the editing form, um, the tab, you will come into the editing um, so-called platform or the, the environment where the rest of the thing is the same as when you set up the lesson. You have add activity, you have in each activity, you have add components and you can do anything. You can delete component as well. All right. So let's say I go to another uh, activity tab. Okay. So at the bottom, this one has more activities here. You can see that all the icons are still the same. You still have the pencil okay icon to make editing to any components all right okay you can click the three dots and then you can um, move up even some components if you want to all right or delete the components as i mentioned just now if you have the student done this component and you delete it the student's account will also have their uh, information or whatever answers they've clicked or submitted deleted as well so we have to be careful with that okay when we edit after assigning to the students. So let's say you want to add a component, just go down to the bottom, add the component. All right, as you know, the component will be added at the bottom. So let's say, for example, I want to add a, a 
free response and I just click the questions all right how do you feel now okay example all right and then you just have to add in the confirmation click save once this is all information all done and confirm I'll do a quick one yep um, so in this case the activity the component has been added okay so once you have confirmed finished your editing all right you will you can actually just confirm saved and sign up okay so the save button button or update button is here at the top right hand corner just click on this tick all right um just uh ju just to confirm that your assignment um will is is to be saved okay yeah, it's just to inform you that once you have confirmed saved the editing it will still remain as post all right that means it's still not available for the students assess in order to for students to start assessing it again you need to click the play button or resume assignment button here okay so i click it will just ask you again do you want to notify the student of the reassessment or the edit edited version okay so i may want to just inform or you can don't inform and click go all right so now the student can assess the lesson again with the new assignment or the new component as this interactive and there are these open ended questions that i've added okay. okay now i'm going to show you the record of monitoring even after you have done editing all right so to it's your heart that everything is going to be the same so let's say for example the students have already done this work all right uh, like maybe half the work done okay and you want to make the changes don't worry okay see every most of them has completed this assignment and then i just make a pause right and then i just go ahead and do my editing and i just um, add one more uh, maybe one more question at the end of this section okay so i'll do the rest and we come back again i'm going to add a, an open-ended question right at the end of this section I'm going ahead to click on confirming the update. So now this is section two, and then I will just show you the data. Alright. The new section question is here. Empty question, nobody has done that. Alright, so these questions on the, the the monitoring answers are empty because this is mainly um uh, the monitoring for this section alone only for this section two where i have added the questions at the bottom all right so just to show you that the rest of the information is still there we just go back to the home and then we click monitoring again all right you will see all the answers are there the marks are already still getting, um still there given to the students while at that section two the, there's this blank questions not answered by any other students and they can now carry on doing this particular session in at this particular component or the question or anything activity in addition to what they have already done however please do remember it is still in post position you need to click the play here to resume the assignment okay and the students can carry on doing that particular question they have just added and i hope this um is helpful to you as I go through this um, method again, click pause, click three dots, click edit, then you can start editing. Get it? Hope this video is um, helpful for you in um, um, going through this new um, provision by SLS to edit while you have already assigned a lesson. I will right, see you again in the next SLS lesson. Take care. Bye.